And let's start this morning by um, keeping the eyes open for now. And just very, very lightly, very easily, um, re recall to, just in a very general way uh, being, oh, I don't know, five or six years old, five or six or seven years old. Um, now notice as soon as I said that, there was some sense of what it was like being five or six or seven and where you lived and, you know, the maybe the park that you would play at or the school you would go to, whatever. Whatever comes along, that's fine. That's it. You're done. You're done. You're done. Don't work at this. Don't, I'm, I am not here to bring more work into your life ever. Okay. Uh, but I, but I, and what I want you to note is how just as soon as we say that there's some sense of being that little person with that high voice uh, that probably got excited about different things than you get excited about now. Um, and I just want you to kind of recall being uh, that version of yourself. And, and some sense of the things that were going on, going to school, you know, what was important to you then, what, uh, you know, what, maybe you got very thrilled by, uh, you know, having your Star Wars lunchbox or whatever it was, just some general sense of that. Okay, and notice we don't have to close our eyes for that. It, 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 for now, we want to keep them open just to make that point. And now let's recall uh, some sense of being you around uh, 17 years old, like, you know, being a senior in high school. And again, as soon as I say that, there's some sense of, oh yeah, that person, that's now a bigger person with a deeper voice, somewhat different attitudes about things, you know, new different, different, things going on physiologically, attitudinally. Um, some of us were serious wise asses at the age of 17, you know, maybe hanging out with your buddies, smoking cigarettes, feeling badass, whatever was your experience, or, you know, maybe being a lonely poet or a, or a committed athlete or whatever, some, some sense. And just notice the, uh, how different the, the, whatever six-year-old you and the 17-year-old are. Again, no work involved. We just say these words and it's, it appears. So the characteristics, the behavior, the, the ways of expressing, very different. And yet, they both happened to what we call you, right? What you call I, right? When I was six, we say, when I was 17, not, okay, there was that six-year-old person and then there was that other 17-year-old person. It was I was six, I was 17, I was all those things in between. I've been all those things since. I'm this one right now, sitting here in this meditation. Different, different, different but it's all the same I. There's a sense of the I that has experienced it all. Right? Isn't there some sense of, okay, there's this one awareness that's been aware of it all, this one experiencer that's experienced it all. We're, this is not something we have to create. It's not anything new. It's just we're noticing this. there's always been that sense. We say I, we know what we're talking about, even though the body changes and the Attitudes change and the voice changes, and so forth. <clears throat> I, the one that's hearing these words right now. But since I has experienced, oh, okay, here's the little body, here's the big body, here's the little excitable high pitched voice, here's the deeper voice, here's the, right? Then clearly, this I is not any of those bodies. It's not, it's experienced those different sets of thoughts and emotions, so it's not thoughts and emotions. It's, it's apparently this 
silent, aware, non-physical, invisible, intangible, silent awareness that's been aware of, of all of these different eyes, aware of all these different experiences. I don't want to say aware of all these different eyes. Sorry, that's confusing. Aware of these different bodies, these different, these different ways of expressing. But the sense of I, like a thread, an invisible thread running through it all. Is this, is this registering for you? See some people nodding their heads if it is. Yeah, okay, good. All right, so let's um, close our eyes. That's all we're doing, just closing our eyes, just changing the, the angle of our eyelids. Now, is this, is this eye still present? This eye that was experiencing seeing the computer screen or the phone screen, hearing my voice, sure, still hearing my voice. Now the colors and shapes, the, the visual experience of the room environment has gone away. But it's still the same invisible, intangible, weightless, soundless, I, which is just awareness, just pure experiencing. So is there anything we need to do to have this I, this pure invisible awareness, to have it be present? Or is it the case that, you know, whenever we look, oh, here, here it is, here, here I am. See if you can get rid of it. See if you can get rid of the sense of the, the I that is the experiencer. The I that's the witness to everything. I don't even know how I would start. So let's, let's stop looking for a way to get rid of it. But we're just, we've just now proven in case there's any doubt that there's nothing we need to do for this I, this witnessing awareness, to be present. We can't even get rid of it. This ever-present presence. So since we have nothing to do to have it be present, let's, let's rest. When you got nothing to do, you rest. Rest in that presence. Rest in that I. Rest as that I. Remain right where you are. Remain right as you are. When we say the word remain, it's a verb, so it sounds like, you know, an action, something we do. But, you know, if you're sitting on the couch and I say remain on the couch, what do you have to do? Nothing. You're already there. You just have to not get up. But we've seen from the eye, we can't even get up if we try. <clears throat> so remain, <laughs> whatever that means. Know that there's nothing else to do. We can completely ah, kick back 
into this presence, this I aware. Nothing for us to do. We're not, for once, we're not driving. We're being chauffeured. We can just really relax back into the the passenger seat of, of this limo of being. Naturally, sounds come and go. Sensations come and go. Thoughts and feelings come and go. And that's fine. Those are what we call experiences. This I is the one thing that's not a thing that's different from those experiences. It's the experiencer. We could say this I, this witnessing awareness, is behind all the experiences. All the experiences, the sounds and the thoughts and so forth, happen in front of the I. Of course, it's not really spatial. <coughs> it's not really spatial like that, but it's just a manner of speaking. So it doesn't matter to the eye what comes and goes in front of it. The eye remains at rest behind it all, so to speak. doesn't matter whether there's lots of thoughts or sensations or whatever or few. The eye is the same. The silent, invisible eye that, you know, witnessed whatever, going to the Disneyland with all the colors and sounds and everything, or the same is the same eye that experienced being on a quiet beach or forest. Same eye that witnessed the taking of your first breath. The same eye that witnesses your dreams. This one right here. The only one there is. The same eye that witnesses <coughs> being so, <coughs> so sick that you can't remember what it's like to be healthy. The same eye that witnesses feeling so healthy and vital 
We can't remember what it's like to be sick. This one right here. And nothing to do but melt back into it. As the thoughts and feelings and everything else come and go in front of the eye, so to speak, it's fine as long as we don't resist or grasp at or engage with any of the passing experiences. So if you find yourself resisting or grasping or engaging with any of it, just relax your grip, relax your resistance, whatever it is, and relax back into the self. Even the grasping and resisting doesn't really change the self, doesn't make it go away. It can sort of restrict our clear um, view of it, our clear relaxing back into it, that's all. So we just relax back into it because it's less work, more fun. Don't look to try to even subtly see this I awareness or feel it. It can't be seen, it can't be felt. That's looking in the wrong direction. It's where we've been seeing from every moment of our life. <coughs> It's where we've been feeling from, hearing from, 
thinking from every moment of our life. Right here. Now keep the eyes closed and take two or three minutes to start easing the body back to a more active state. And then when you feel ready, after a couple of minutes, you can open the eyes. <laughs> 